This mesh has 8 draw calls, but this one has only 2 draw calls. Did you know we can reduce the number of draw calls by merging materials in Unreal Engine? Or that we can bake textures? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. So let's do it. Suppose the material for this mesh is final and I don't want to change or edit it anymore. Right now it has 7 material elements. That means this mesh alone has 8 draw calls. That's a lot of draw calls for a single mesh. But thanks to tools provided by Unreal Engine, we can reduce it. Up here on the menu bar, click on tools and select merge actors. I went over the process of merging actors in this video. I'll put its link in the description. Here we have an option to merge materials, but it's grayed out and we can't enable it. That's because first, we should change the LOD selection type down here. It should be something other than use all LOD levels. Let's set it to use a specific LOD level and LOD 0 is fine. Now we can enable merge materials. When we enable it, the materials of all the merge assets will be combined into a single material with a new UV layout. We can also do it for one mesh, like what I want to show you in this video. So here I'll set the texture size to 2048. And I want it to have roughness and metallic map. Also make sure use vertex data for baking is enabled. The other settings I'll leave at their default for now. Click on merge actors, select where you want to save the new mesh and select a name for it. Then click on save. After a few seconds, the new mesh is ready and it will jump to where it's saved in the content browser. Let's drag it into the level. As you can see, it has only one material element. Here is the merge material and here are the baked textures. This new mesh has only two draw calls, that's much more optimized. Although it's not as good as doing it in a software such as Substance Painter, it's a lot faster, especially for simpler meshes. Imagine the effect it can have when working on a large level. Next, I'll go over these settings and some things to consider when merging the materials. But before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. These settings only become available if merge materials is enabled. Texture sizing type gives us a number of methods that can be used to generate the sizes of the output texture. The default one is fine most of the time, but feel free to check the other options too. Texture size sets the pixel resolution for the final merge materials texture. It's better if both of these values are a power of 2, for meat map purposes. With these options, we can choose which textures to create. When these are disabled, the material will use the constant values next to them. Down here, we can set the blend mode and whether we want the material to be two-sided or not. Gather size sets a space between UV islands. It helps prevent the colors of the islands from overlapping. Otherwise, artifacts can appear on the mesh when using MIP maps. It is in pixels and the default value is enough most of the time. Use vertex data for baking material is for when we use vertex color. It will use vertex data to bake material results. And finally, use texture binning will calculate the varying output texture sizes according to their importance when packing the final atlas texture. If the object consists of materials with different blend modes, then it's better to have different material elements for each blend mode. For example, if some parts of the object are made of glass, then it's better if those parts have a different material element. To add new material elements, we can use the modeling tools. Watch this video to learn how to do that. Although we haven't used any vertex data, still I enabled the use vertex data for baking material option. I'll disable it and click on merge actors. As you can see, the material isn't merged properly. I don't know why that happens, but make sure use vertex data for baking material is enabled. One other thing is that in the current version, which is 5.3, the material and the texture won't be saved in the content browser. I also tried it with the 4.26 and the 5 versions. They both saved the material and the textures next to the merged mesh, but in 5.3 we don't have them. There's something we can do. Open the static mesh. From here open the material. Scroll down until you see these two options. 
Safe Sibling creates a duplicate of this material and Safe Child creates an instance of this material. It doesn't matter which one you select. I'll go with Sibling. Select where you want the material to be saved. I want it next to the merged mesh. Then click on save. Now we have the material in the content browser. Right click on it. From asset actions, click on export. Select where you want to save the exported material and change the file name from here. GL transmission format is fine. After clicking on save, the GLTF export options window opens. The default settings are ok. Click on export. Now we have the baked textures next to the exported material. We can import them into the project in case we want to use them. And the last thing is that when using mesh materials with some meshes, it doesn't work. For example, this simple mesh. I couldn't get it to merge the materials correctly, even in the previous versions. So that's something to consider. But overall, it's a very helpful tool, and I hope they make it better in the future. So click here for more Unreal stuff, and thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and join our community on Telegram, Discord, and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.